demonstration of how you can use Tableau Public, which is a free software program, to create a map showing point data. In this case, we'll be mapping some cities. So I'm here in the online interface and I've created a new view, but I now need to add my data. In this case, my data is coming from this list of public libraries in Washington State. I transferred this information to a Google Sheet and you can see what the different fields are here. And then I went ahead to File, Download, CSV for comma separated values and that's what I'm going to add to my Tableau sheet. I also made this map in Google Maps to show the exact addresses and if you are trying to map at the address level Google Maps in particular my maps is a better option for that. Tableau cannot map individual addresses but it does do a really nice display for things like city level data. So I'm going to go ahead and upload that CSV file and I want to make sure that it looks correct for what I expect, so I want to check my fields down here in the bottom right. And if that does look correct, I can move on to Sheet 1, where I'll be able to create a visualization. This can take a little while to import the data, depending on how big of a file you have. Once the information is successfully imported, the first thing I'm going to check is to make sure that the geographic role has been defined correctly. Tableau tries to do this automatically for you. In this case, if I do want to add the city information, I want to make sure that that is being signed to a city geographic role. So I go down here to geographic role and sure enough, it has been correctly assigned as a city. I can go ahead and drag that information onto my map and most of it looks like it's correctly clustered in Washington State, which is what we would expect, but there are a few outliers here, including this one way over there. If I add the zip measure as well to that data, um, it will sometimes fix it because it's allowed to find what information that should be in. Um, in this case, it's not, so I can go ahead and see what this looks like in the latitude and longitude here. Um, sometimes you're able to fix this by, by basically reformatting it. Um, in this case, I'm not being prompted to do so, so instead I'm just going to exclude that information. Here's the rest of my dots, and this is a pretty good mapping of these locations. It includes the zip code by default. I may not want to include that in my tooltip, but I may want to include additional information. So we can also customize how these dots look by changing, say, the color. Um, you can change the size or have that correspond with something else like population, if that is in your spreadsheet. In this case, I don't have any other data points that I want to include, but I do want my tooltip to include things like the library name. So I'm going to drag that measure that said library onto the tooltip. I can also edit the information included here. For instance, I may not want the zip code. And now I can say OK. And when I hover on most of these, it will now show both the city and the library name um, so that I can have a little bit more information for people who are viewing this. To make this viewable for people, you will also want to add it to a dashboard or a store. You can do that in the bottom left-hand corner here. If I do add this to a dashboard by dragging this map onto that larger dashboard. I can choose different sizes and, and I can also customize the text, which is a useful thing. I can change the, the name of this to give it a different title. I can also add things like text notes and other annotations to help my audience better understand what I'm trying to show them in this map. 